Hi everybody, welcome back to Print Powder Pal. Today I'm going to be doing a Kim Kardashian inspired hair and makeup tutorial. Okay, so first I'm going to prep the skin and I'm going to use That Gal Primer by Benefit. Next I'm going to start with the eyes because I don't like the fall down from the eyeshadow and I'm going to use Estee Lauder's Disappear Smoothing Cream Concealer in O2. Next I'm going to take Rubenesque Paint Pot by MAC. And just using my finger I'm going to apply that all over my lid. Next I'm going to take my Duo Pralines by Estee Lauder and I'm going to take that bronze colour right there. Going into the crease of the eye, outer third but sticking to the crease. And then I'm going to blend that out. Taking a slightly deeper bronze, which is this one right here, I'm going to put that into the crease. I'm now going to take this light shimmery beige right here from my Estee Lauder collection and just enhance the lightness a little bit in the center of the eye and in the corner. Now I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Bronzed Garnet for Green Eyes liner. And it's more of an eyeshadow but I'm going to make it a liner today. To get right along the lash line. Doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to smudge it out. Now I'm going to move on to my foundation and then I'll come back to the eyes in a minute. I'm going to use my Rimmel Match Perfection in 100 Ivory and apply that all over my face with my fingers. It's quite a heavy foundation so I'm going to try and keep it quite light by sort of blending it out. Next I'm going to conceal under the eyes using my Estee Lauder concealer I used earlier. And I'm also going to use that to highlight any areas that I need to. And then I'm also going to contour. And then I'm going to use a bare mineral foundation in a few shades darker than my natural skin color. It doesn't look that dark in here, but it is darker in person. And that's what I'm going to use to contour with so that it doesn't go too bronzy. So I'm going to go in the hollows of my cheeks right there. Now I'm going to finish my eyes. I'm going to take that Charlotte Tilbury color again and pop it underneath my lashes. Now I'm going to enhance the eyes even more and I'm going to use a black liner in my waterline. Taking my Bare Minerals Big Bright Eyes in Intense Black. the upper lash. I'm 
just going to take a little bit of that liner and just go right atop, right along the top of my lash line, just really tight against it. I'm going to take some of that light shadow again and highlight underneath the um, eyes just a little bit and back in that cre cream color. I'm just going to go underneath the brow. I'm now going to fill in the brows. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever crayon for eyebrows, which is number one. Then I'm going to set it with Speed Brow by Benefit. I'm now going to apply my mascara and this is my Wild Mega Volume by Max Factor. I'm going to apply it to my lower lashes as well. Next I'm going to finish off my cheeks and I'm going to take Refined Golden Bronzing Powder by MAC. And I'm going to go sort of underneath the cheek with that. Little bit where this just a little bit where the sun might hit. Then using Twinkling Pink by Elf, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of blush on. And then I'm going to powder a little bit and just buff all that out with Hello Flawless by Benefit. Now I'm going to finish off the lips and obviously Kim has a very pouty lip and I'm going to take a little bit of a rosy pink liner by Ulta and give my lips a little bit of definition but not line them too much. When taking a new gloss, I'm going to fill in the lips. Now I'm going to quickly curl my hair into a shape with this large Babyliss Pro curling tongue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, create a little bit of volume, but more um, getting sort of shape around the face and getting the fringe into a Kardashian sweeping fringe. go into a lovely sweeping action back home just a little bit 
and get that fringe to go into place. And there you go, that is my Kim Kardashian hair and makeup inspired tutorial. Shame she went back to brown, but um, at least this is the look if you guys are all still blonde and rocking the blonde look. This is uh, a makeup that would go really good with sort of honey colored um, hair, or ash blonde hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Bye!